Theater Command may Malari Cantonment in Maiduguri, Bonu State. This is a live channel's television event. The Theater Commander Operation Lafayette Adroli, Major General Loki Irabo, sir. Component Commanders, other principal staff officers of the Headquarters Theater Command, Omission Commanders, Commanding Officers, Senior Officers, Gentlemen Officers. Hello and welcome to our live broadcast of the press conference by the Nigerian military in the, um, the ongoing operation, military operation, Lafia Dole here in Meduguri, the capital of Borno State. We're here at the headquarters of the headquarters of the operation, the military operation, for a press conference. Um, we'll now take you in to the conference for the update and the program. As you may be all aware, the military is currently engaged to clear the remnants of the Boko Haram terrorists in Sambisa forest. In line with the commander's resolve to keep the Nigerian public abreast with every development on the ongoing operation. It is now my singular honor and privilege to invite the theater commander, Operation Lafia Dole, to kickstart the press conference, the theater commander, sir. The Maritime and Air Component Commanders, the Principal Staff Officers from the Theater Command, various commanders, the Commander 105 Composite Group, the Commander Army Equator Logic Base 1, of course the Media Coordinator, all other officers here present. Members of the Fort Estate of the Realm, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Let me, before I proceed, um, warn that um, some of the pictures you will likely to see are graphic images that might be disturbing. And I thought that it's essential for us to um, have that forewarning. It is my pleasure this afternoon to welcome you all to the headquarters of the Theater Command, in particular the Military Command and Control Center, in order to update you with the progress of our operations so far. The troops of Operation Lafia Dole have continued to clear Boko Haram terrorists in their hideouts and have recorded huge successes. Since the last time to today, own troops have moved deeper into Sambisa Forest on many fronts. In order to fully understand the operational setting, I will give you a general overview of the Sambisa Forest and some parts of the theater as shown. I have um, chosen to do this to enable us to have um, a good understanding. What you have here is um, the map of some parts of the theater and very precisely um, the general area of Sambisa Forest. And so as we discuss, you need to um, be focusing on some of the areas that uh, we shall be looking at. What you find, go ahead. This is Sambisa Forest. And you're going to have, um, you know, a greater part of the briefing, you know, zeroing in on this, besides what is happening in the northern part of the theater. And of course, go ahead now. So, um, 
This brief will touch on some of the operations as follows. The update on the Operation Rescue Final. And you know, as I told you uh, the last time, Operation Rescue Final is the continuation of Operation Crackdown and it's aimed at rescuing all the Chibok girls and other hostages held in Sambisa Forest. Since its commencement on, um, as I briefed you the last time, our troops have continued to make progress into the heart of Sambisa Forest. The current incursion into the Sambisa Forest, of course, is in various fronts, like I mentioned earlier on, and uh, the troops, um, you know, uh, currently, in fact, before they embarked on that um, operation, were briefed by the General Officer Commanding 7th Division, and um, just whilst they were at the assembly area. Now, on, on one of the fronts, on 30th of uh, November 2016, the troops cleared Gunnery before harboring at Gunnikrumi, as you could see right on the, on the board, on the, on the screen. And of course, whilst there, the troops were attacked by the Boko Haram terrorists with the hope of slowing down their push. The attack was successfully repaired with the Boko Haram terrorists suffering casualties. The troops recovered one AK-47 rifle, as well as different calibers of ammunition and magazines. The advance continued the following day, and our troops successfully cleared Alafa 1, 2, and 3. These locations are at the heart of Sambisa. And thereafter, they harbored at uh, Bula Bayou. On the 5th of December, the troops cleared all Boko Haram terrorist delay positions. What we mean by delay positions, uh, areas where, you know, because of the aggressiveness of the troops, in order to slow down their momentum, the, uh, the Boko Haram terrorists usually lay other IEDs or have one or two, you know, um, uh, persons deployed to attack and slow down the, the movement of the troops. That's, so each time you hear delaying position, that's precisely what it means. The delay positions, all of them were cleared before uh, capturing Njimia. Njimia, of course, uh, you know that um, you may have been hearing that, you know, uh, some time past. So our troops, of course, whilst at Njimia, uh, were also attacked by the terrorists using anti-aircraft guns and uh, small arms. The attack lasted for about 30 minutes, uh, but was um, successfully repaired with the Boko Haram terrorists suffering heavy casualties in both men and equipment before retreating. Here, of course, also gives you an indication as to the, the, the terrain and the vegetation of Sambisa Forest, as you could see, uh, is thickly vegetated. I told you last time that um, um, the Sambisa Forest, as it were, is like a delta where uh, the drainage of the entire um, Barano, looking at the geology of Barano State, uh, the, the, the drainage more or less converge into Sambisa. So what you find are uh, vegetations of this nature that you can find on the screen. Of course, a lot of equipment were, were, were captured, including, um, including even grinding uh, machines where they used to um, pro uh, process grains. And, uh, and other materials. So uh, that, of course, also accounts for the kind of life they've lived in Sambisa over the period, uh, trying to make life as comfortable as it should be for them. However, um, one soldier and two civilian JTF were wounded uh, in that encounter, and the soldier and one civilian JTF unfortunately died while being um, evacuated. Um, to, to the hospital. In fact, they were lifted and uh, before they could get to the hospital, they died. Yesterday at about 1600 hours, um, the, um, the reconnaissance aircraft, you know, um, showed that um, some of the Boko Haram terrorists were massing up to attack the troops at Njimia. And what we did was to use our anti and, uh, and air assets to, to engage the Boko Haram terrorists. Of course, these are uh, pictures that you find from the, from the ISR uh, platform. And um, you know, getting this information, we were able to use both the artillery and the air to take them out. 
what you find under the tip vegetation are some vehicles which of course um, in the course of this I will show you some of the clips um, what we call battle damage assessment and after the strike this what you find here are the uh, Boko Haram that are trying to escape and of course they were dealt with Now, uh, four vehicles, a fuel tanker, uh, which of course we assess to have been uh, leading with um, improvised explosive devices.